Hey, hi, welcome back to my tutorials. So today we will see the locator class name. Okay, so we have seen the other locators so far in our previous tutorials. So we are going to see next the class name locator. So the agenda of the video is we will see a class name locator. What is class name locator? And we'll see one simple example for a class name locator. Then I will show you one complex example for a class name. Okay, in case if you face any errors, how to overcome it. So this is going to be the second point is going to be very useful. But then before that, I will show you one example uh, how to use it so that you can understand it better. Then we'll go to the uh, complex part of it. Okay, so I have uh, created already one uh, particular class. As you can see, this is class name located or Java. Okay, here I'm going to show with the help of the proper test and notations. Okay, so that's why you can see I have used before test. I have already made a detailed video on test ng so you can go and watch that video I have explained how to use this test ng annotations okay so you can go and watch that video if you have not seen and other parts like web driver manager chrome driver setup on this also there is a separate tutorial I would recommend to use web driver manager okay instead of system dot set property we can go with web driver manager and then I am creating an object for the chrome driver class so then I am using the url myoclinic.org so this is my website on which I am going to perform this uh, activity okay then I am finally maximizing the browser okay so this part is a simple uh, concept okay so there is a separate tutorial for this whole steps you can go and have a look at that particular video if you are new to the selenium okay so now let us go and implement how to use this class name okay so we have seen all others all other locators out of eight locators we have seen total seven locators with examples so this is going to be on the class name okay let me just uh, declare at the rate test okay i'll create a method public void verify verify class name something like that i'm giving a method name okay so inside that let me import this notation okay and uh, i'll go with driver dot find element by dot we have class name so what is the class name i'm going to provide inside this so for that i'm going to the website okay so um, i'll right click on this particular link and i'll click on inspect then in the dom structure as you can see this is a, a hyperlink basically starting with a tag and you can see there is id okay and we have class name so we are dealing with basically class name in this example so we will go with the class name value what is the value here the value is login so then i can simply copy this value this is the class name value that is login and i will put inside my class name block okay. login and then after locating this element i also have to click on this link okay for that i will call the dot click method of selenium web driver okay so now we, uh, my code is ready driver of find element by dot class name value is login dot click it means this is the class name value here and i'll click on this link okay so now let me run this code and we will see whether it is able to locate that element by using class name and it is able to click or not okay so let me run this code now as you can see it is going to run now it is launching the browser with the url that is myoclinic.org okay so now it will maximize the window so now yeah see as you can see this is actually clicking on that particular link hyperlink okay so it is able to navigate to this new url okay so now let us see the result yeah the result is also pass as you can see this pass okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go further okay so so far we have seen the class name with a simple example okay basically we just need to find the value of the class okay from that dom structure then we can just simply provide the value but when it comes to class name it is not limited to that so now we have seen a simple class name value that is login but there are websites there are fields where you may not find a simple a direct class name value what i'm trying to say is okay we'll see one example with a complex example okay so for that let me uh, close this for now and then i'll go to the website okay so here uh, what i'm going to do is let me close this also so i'm going to locate this search field okay so let me right click on this so so this is the dom structure and here is the highlighted area okay what is the class name value here this is the class name value right okay. for this particular field the search field okay yeah. as you can see if i am hovering on it you can see that is getting highlighted okay so now let us try the same way what you have done previously so yeah let me copy this class name value but what difference you can see in this class name it is not a single word okay so it has a few spaces we have this space and then we have this space okay and uh, the total there are two space now let us see what happens if i use this okay so 
uh, let me comment it out okay i'll go with uh, driver dot find element by dot class name okay so here let me provide the class name value and uh, i will pass some text okay in that uh, field i'll pass something like uh, hello all something like that i'm passing okay now let us run this code and see whether it is able to locate that particular search field or not okay this is the field okay now let us run this code okay it is running the code as you can see okay so what happened just let us see it has failed the test why let us see the result so what is the test what is the test result you are getting here it is telling that compound class names not permitted okay so this is the error we are getting okay then what is the compound class name now so I was, as i was telling that in this particular class name value what difference you can see the difference is that it is not a single word okay so there is space so basically we cannot use a class name which is having space between that okay so that is the reason we are getting the error compound class names not permitted okay so now how to overcome this problem so basically i'm explaining this particular point the second point so how to overcome this problem now because we have to anyhow we have to locate that element right otherwise we will not be able to perform this test case itself okay so how do we uh, overcome this problem okay now let us go to the website okay so here from the class name value okay take the first word okay the word before the space word before the first space okay what is the word before the first space this is the word right then do control f and search for the value what you see is there are total two matching nodes if you find there are two matching nodes then you cannot use this okay please do not use it okay so what you do is then you go for the next value what is the next value mc hyphen input right then try to use this as well even this is having multiple nodes okay let's not use it then let's go to the third part okay after space then search for the value so you can find there is only one matching node okay you can go ahead with this okay now let us use this particular value now we will run this code okay we will see whether it is able to locate that particular search field and it is able to type that key or not okay we will see that now see it is able to locate that the particular field and it is able to type hello all so basically by this particular technique we are able to locate this particular search field with the help of class name because we could not use the the complete class name because it is having space and it is not allowed because compound class names are not permitted okay so but we found one matching node one in one part of the whole class name okay so this is one way now let's suppose if you don't want to use in this way okay what is the other way if you want to use the complete class name but how can you use it okay there is a different way for that okay let us uh, comment it out this also so i'll go with that driver dot find element by dot okay so here we have to go with css selector okay but we can provide that particular class name value but we need to do some modifications for that particular class name but we have to use locator css selector okay how to do that let us go to the website again so here in the dom structure as you can see this is the value so let us copy the entire class name okay so here as css selector locator you need to provide the value of the class name okay, this is basically a class name okay so, but we are using css selector so what modification we need to do here is at the beginning of this particular class name you use one dot and wherever there is space so there are space in two places this is the one place and this is the other place so here you have to use one dot and here in the space also you have to use a dot okay then let me go with the send keys and again i will type hello all Okay, so what basically I have done is wherever there is space use a dot and in the beginning of the class name also use one dot okay because we are going to in the form of CSS selector okay now let us run this code let me close this because I am not using driver.quit I will click on run 
So it is able to launch the browser with the URL again with myoclinic.org website. Now it is going to maximize the window and you can see it is able to locate this particular field and it is able to type that hello all uh, send keys. Okay. Basically we have used the whole class name value only. This is the class name value. Okay. So this is the value. But what modification we have done? We have used dot in the beginning and also in the places wherever there is space we have replaced that with dots okay and also we are using dot in the beginning but we are using a locator that is css selector okay so this is the conversion we have done so if you go with this the technique if you go with this method then you will be able to successfully complete that automation code and your code will run okay so these are the various uh, techniques okay in case if you uh, come up with this kind of complex class name where there is space then you have to use this technique only okay you can either find out the matching node from the whole uh, particular uh, class name value and you and use that particular matching node with some part of that uh, particular class name otherwise you go with css selector uh, locator but you use the same value okay complete value but use dots wherever there is space and also use dot in the beginning okay so these are very important concept whenever you are working on class name okay so this is how we have to tackle your problem so basically as i said in the beginning we have seen both the examples we have demonstrated class name with simple example and we have demonstrated the class name with complex example and how to overcome the errors okay so that is all about the class name locator okay so i hope you have understood the topic and uh, if you find any difficulty please drop those in the comment section okay so keep practicing you will definitely be able to understand this particular things so you can practice yourself you can go and try many websites wherever there is class value available class name available okay so that's all for the tutorial if you have liked the video please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you thanks for watching